This week we're going to try a new paint line, cut some wooden heart charms for our dough bowl display, fully finish a beautiful anniversary token from Hands On Design, and head off on a skiing adventure. I could stop the time, don't you know that I would? Cause I'm just loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? Forever. 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 I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment. Can we stay forever? I'm just loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here together? If I could stop. Don't you know that I would Cause I'm just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? Forever 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 I watch you as you drive Do you know I'm looking? couple winters, Brian and I have been taking a ski trip out to Keystone, Colorado. Each time we go, I make sure I take a stitch along with me that I'm currently working on. Last year I finished up more chocolate bunnies because I was working on that during Nicole's stitch along. This year I chose Love You Too from Hands On Design as my travel project. It was the perfect size and the perfect complement to our ski trip. While I was working on it though, I realized that I had forgotten my hoop and I'm usually a hoop stitcher. So I was thrilled to find that I was able to stitch in hand on this 32 count fabric from Fabrics by Stephanie. It was easier than I thought. The anniversary token, Love You Too, was stitched on, or Kathy stitched it rather, on 32 count antique white linen. The stitch counts 88 by 33, and then there's a tiny little heart and home stamp that's stitched on 18 count white perforated paper. Um, the rest of her directions have, you know, to backstitch the bird legs and the arrows, and then there's additional finishing bits that we're gonna get to in a minute. Now, I didn't have any white linen in my stash before I took off on the trip, but I did have Angel Wing from Fabrics by Stephanie. So I grabbed this and took it along, and I was able to get Love You Too stitched right up. Like I said, I didn't have any um, white or white perforated paper. So prime to the rescue, and I got on an ordered snob before we left, and I ended up grabbing, um, it looks like it's from Mill Hill. This was something I just got off of Amazon. Let's get this open so we can check it out. Now, I literally, guys, I have never stitched on perforated paper. So this is my first time. And I need some scissors here. I mean, I know I've gotten it in kits before and things, but I haven't actually done it yet. So we're gonna get this stitched because I think the little stamp is a really cute part of it and it shouldn't take too much longer to include that. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this pack had two packs in it. That's exciting. Let's see what else we got going on. I thought I got stickers with this too, but I don't see them anywhere. So I guess I missed out on the free sticker thing. That's okay. All right, 18 count white two pack. Looks like I'm going to have plenty <laughs> since we're only doing the tiny little stamp of the perforated paper. Here we go. There it is. 
All right, I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and get stitching on it. It's kind of stiff. I don't think I need to put it into anything because the part that I'm stitching is literally just this tiny little stamp and it's um, got a heart in the middle and the house on the side. But I do think that it makes for an adorable extra. So we're gonna get that stitched up and then we're gonna get this pillow made. stitch done. I have the little perverted paper piece done, which was super fun. I really had a good time doing that. And I have all of Kathy's instructions here printed off in order to construct it into a pillow. I'm looking to figure out what fabric to do on the bottom. She used this really big plaid on the bottom. I don't have that. I didn't hate what blue looked like with it. I thought that looked kind of good. Um, but I also have a little Valentine print with some X's and O's on it. And then this little pink and, um, I guess it's pink and red plaid that looks really cute. The felt piece, I think this aqua is good. I pulled red out just in case. <sighs> Don't hate that either. So many decisions, right? Um, but one thing I do know that I had to play with is looking at the little stamp that is going to be the felt piece that goes behind the perforated paper piece. Kathy cut that out with a little rotary cutter that was with a scallop edge. I don't have that at all. So prime to the rescue. And I've ordered a pair of scissors that they just came in, but they're an 18 millimeter wave. I'm not sure if that's going to be. Just let's cut some and see. If it's going to be too um, big, it looks bigger than what she has. I mean, it's obviously, it doesn't have to be exact. This is, I follow the directions and everything, but you gotta take your own creative freedom with stuff and kind of, you know, wing it from there. All right, ooh, that's so cute. All right, let's see. You know, I think we're gonna have to make that work because the other option is pinking shares that I have. And I think that's just too pokey and not, not at all what I want. Um, I think that's going to be just fine. So we're going to use the new scallop scissors. Let's see the yep, scissors scalloped 18 millimeter to cut our felt with. And we'll cut our, this out, but let's, let's start working on it.
I followed all the instructions from Kathy's uh, finishing picture walkthrough. That's what's found on her blog in order to complete the pillow. It was very easy and wonderful to have this tutorial on hand to do that with. My finished product is here. So I've got the pillow finished now and I've decided I wanted to put it in a doble. Now to wrap up some of what happened for when I was working with it, right? Remember we talked about the little scallop scissors? Her rotary cutter scallop, I'm sure the scallops were a lot tighter than what the scissors I bought were. So what I ended up doing was just cutting the sides straight so that it wasn't going like crazy all over the place and just left my scallops on the top. Maybe I stitched it a little too far down, but that's where it is. They get It got stitched on through there. Then I took the baker's twine and wrapped it around three times and tied it in a bow. And I stuffed it with the cotton batting, um, the stuffing that I use and the poly pellet combo. So it's pretty dense. Now, I was talking about displaying it. I'm putting it inside one of our little dough bowls. These are available on our shop, but it's looking kind of lonely. So I wasn't really planning to cut anything, but I'm thinking about maybe we should cut some hearts, um, two inches or three inch size. We could even layer them, paint them, distress them, finish them, and then put some wood hearts inside with the pillow finish. Um, I think I'll do that. When we arrived home from our trip, I went over to visit my friend Shelly and picked up some paint that she carries called DIY paint. This chalk and clay based formula is nice and thick and the coverage is absolutely amazing for our wood products, so I thought I'd give it a try on this project. I'm calling that done. This was such a fun stitch to work on this last week. I had such a good time and it was so perfect to take on my trip with me for a couple reasons really. One is it's a nice compact little stitch so it didn't take a lot of floss and I had all of it in my stash so I was able to put it together and pack everything into one project bag and complete it in the evenings while we were sitting there in the condo. So I did all of this part while we were out west. The perforated paper part I did back when we got home here to Michigan and then of course we did the wood um, 
the wood charms this evening and sewed the entire pillow together. But the other reason why this was just a great stitch and just perfect for my trip is because skiing is something that I have been doing with Brian for, well, we've been married for 36 years and we were skiing while we were dating. So it's been at least almost 40 years we've been skiing together. And a lot of those years we were skiing with, you know, a lot of other people and our children and things like this. So this is kind of like a trip now that it's just been the two of us. And it was super special to take off and spend a couple of days out in Keystone with just Brian. And while we were on the chairlift, one of the last runs of the day, he just looked over and we were all alone on the lift. He looked over and said, I love you. And I replied with, love you too. And it was just so cute and special because he didn't know I was stitching this. And once he did that and I said that, I you know, thought of this stitch immediately and thought, how perfect. What an awesome little memory now of our trip. And this is just the perfect stitch to commemorate that trip with. So I had just a great time with him and just great memories and things like that have been made once again while out skiing. Now this particular chart is one of many that Kathy Haberman of Hands On Design offers for free on a blog post that she has on her website. I have linked that in the description box below. You can see there are quite a few of them. So any number of these is just so cute and red, you know, super fun to make up to commemorate your special things or for Valentine's Day this next month. The other thing is she'll be coming out with a new one soon because her anniversary is February 6th and that's what she creates these for in honor of their anniversary. So be on the lookout for that because that is coming soon. Now, if you are interested or would like to make something just like this one, I did put in the shop the bowl with the wood charms and there's just a limited number of them so when they are gone they're gone but the wood charms and bowl are listed together in our online shop and I've linked that in the description box below so all you have to do is run over to Kathy's site hands-on design and grab one of her free anniversary token charts stitch that up and combine it in any of the colors that you choose and put it all together in a bowl I think it's just super cute and you can have it done up just in time for Valentine's Day this year, 2024. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel and click the bell for notifications so you won't miss out on any future episodes coming your way.